Hey yo, Kremlings! A while back, I talked about some videos I wanted to make to show you everything I've learned so far about making comics. I'm not a professional, but I've always liked the idea of making my own comics. As a self-taught artist who doesn't have any patience or money to sign up for courses, art school, or whatever else, I'm the stubborn kind who prefers to learn things the hard way, entirely on my own, and tutorials could not be my biggest enemy. This isn't a tutorial, because I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll try my best to be of use for those who are stuck in the idea of making comics and don't know how to get started. In this first video, we're going to make a simple plot and also the main characters. I'm going to be reusing an old story of mine, so the plot is already semi-structured, but you can use it as an example for your own if you'd like. Mind you, this isn't for people who want to make their magnum opus extra complicated story with a billion characters and 40 pages of world building. This is a start. First and foremost, we need our plot. You can scatter ideas of what you want for your first comic. For this one, the first that came to mind when I first made it was a zombie roommate, so that's gonna be the core theme for this one. After, you can develop some other important keywords that will make your plot go, like the zombie condition being a curse, how there is a big secret surrounding it, and of course, I also want this to be a romance. After our main keywords are decided, we can go to the more nitpicky stuff. The story is going to happen in college, something terrible is going to happen so our zombie boy gets his curse, and finally, some basic timeline of events so we can ground ourselves better in our own plot. It doesn't have to be anything complicated, just something to get us going in how we're going to start this. In second place, we have to decide who our main characters are going to be. Since this is a simple romance story, I have two, the zombie and the human who are going to be roommates, and that's it. That's all the characters that we'll be making for now. Uh, and especially, if you've never published or finished a comic before, simple is best. The less characters or plot points you have to focus on, the easier it will be for you to develop things around them and expand your ideas to create something more substantial. But even if your story is simple, that doesn't mean that it's bad. Not every story needs to be super complicated, it doesn't have to be One Piece 2.0. It can be just a couple characters, a simple story, and it can still be amazing. Uh, now I'll sketch out quickly some designs for our characters. For him, I decided squares would be a good fit for no particular reason, but I'll remain consistent after my choice. After I write down some key elements of his personality, I write down some subcategories that will make this character a bit more interesting. Even when you're using tropes, it's important to develop your character's personality in a way that doesn't make them feel flat or too artificial. For the zombie roommate, for example, I decided to use an oval shape instead of a square, and his zombie design will also look different because it will be a main element for the story, so I wanted to stand out from other stories with zombies in it. When you have a simple plot and you want to be unique, always think of which common element you can alter or spice up a little to make your story a little bit different and even a little bit more fun for you. I didn't spend too much time on these designs because again, this is the beginning of an idea, so you don't have to worry about super polished characters or anything like that. For contrast, I made their personalities a bit on the opposite side, with the human roommate being an introvert and the zombie roommate being an extrovert, but that's just a preference of mine. As you can see, I use the same amount of elements for both of them when writing about the personalities, so they can be consistent within the universe they're inserted in. And, like I wrote on the screen, it's important that your characters can be different from one another with distinct personalities, and while they don't have to be total opposites from each other, try to think outside of yourself when making characters, so the entire cast doesn't end up acting and behaving like a copy of you. It can be a bit challenging since it's you writing it, but there's a lot of different ways you can make characters different that we'll see in a future video. For this part, we'll end it here. The next step will be exploring character design, where we can go more in depth about character personalities and how to use shape and values to make them stand out. Here's all the things we cover in this short video. If there's anything you want to see more in depth as we go along, feel free to leave a comment. 
please understand this will start from very basic concepts that will progress into more complex ones as we go, and I don't want to make these too dense or complicated for anyone. Anyone can make comics. Even if you don't have a formal understanding of them, don't be afraid to just start without having 100% of it figured out yet. And while you're here, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and checking out my own comic that will be linked down on the description. The House of Monsters uploads every Tuesday and Thursday on Comic Fury. More information down below. That's it, see you around crablings, bye bye and stay crabby!